Welcome to this uh, CFPS preparation course. In this lecture, we will uh, have a look on the new fire protection handbook, the 21 editions, uh, so we can know how we can prepare the book for the exam. As you know, it's an open book exam, so you have to prepare the uh, handbook well, so you can uh, get the right answer in a short possible time. This is the uh, fire protection handbook 21, 21st uh, edition, volume one, and this is volume two. There is some difference between the 21 edition and the 20 uh, edition. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, a difference in the color. Before it was only uh, the red color, but now you have uh, the uh, volume two from section 13 to 21 in red color and volume one in black color. So the volume one, you will see from section one to 12 and volume two from sections 13 to 21. Let's see when you open the fire protection handbook, you will see this tag, it come from NFPA. These tabs you will use to put a separator for each section. Like you, you can see here, this is the first section is the safety in the built environment. So we will go for each section to put the same tag. You will see here the second one, the second section is basic in fire, uh, of fire and fire science. So you will see here basics of fire and fire science. You will take it and put at its location and the same for all uh, sections in the book. At the end of uh, each uh, volume, you will see the index. What is this index? We have at the start, this the brief content for each uh, section and chapters. Uh, like you can see here, section one, safety in the built environment, and you have all of these six uh, chapters uh, below this section. But at the end, it's a different. At the end, you will see the index, and the index uh, has some uh, uh, different concept, uh, different than or differ than the uh, contents uh, of the book. Here the index is alphabetically from A to Z. So you can start with A to see what uh, you will get. By the way, what one of the uh, difference, the main difference between the new book and the old book, there is, uh, as you see, colored photo. Before it was all black and white, but now you have a colored photo. It's a very nice explanation by NFPA. Uh, so let's go back to the index. This is the index. So it start from A and you have to go for each, uh, if you need to go for uh, C, B, D, uh, as you need, you will uh, see the letter uh, at the first of this uh, uh, part. And then you can see the uh, keywords uh, alphabetically organized under this letter. What we need here to go for each key keyword uh, or important keyword so we can highlight this keyword. But we have to take into consideration one thing. For example, if we go for uh, commercial cooking operation, ventilation of, this is the main keyword, okay? Under this keyword, you will find another level. What is the other level? Uh, like for example, uh, components. This is another level, components. So this is the components of commercial cooking operation, ventilation, uh, or vent uh, yeah, ventilation of. And under, under component, you will see another third level. What is the uh, third level? Canopy hood, controls, exhaust, uh, duct work. So we have for each keyword, not for each keyword, but for some keywords, we have uh, three different level for each keyword. So how can we deal without uh, making uh, ourselves confused about these uh, levels? This is the use of these three highlighters. We will need these three highlighters so we can select for each level a different uh, highlighter for this level. For example, we will take the main level, commercial cooking operation ventilation off, and put or select this 
uh, whatever uh, green, blue, uh, red, you can select this one and only make this one for the main level, for the main keyword. Then the next one or the next level, you can select another one. So we can select the first one as a blue, the second one will be, for example, as a green. So we will make the second one with the green highlighter. And the third one, we will get the third highlighter. So when we see after some time, when we put all the important keywords, we will not confuse which one was the first level, which one was the second level, which one under uh, which one. So we can make a hierarchy, visual hierarchy of these keywords. So this is the importance of these highlighters. You have to prepare uh, before you start uh, preparation, you have to prepare this. So this is the first thing. So uh, all of these strategies aims to uh, save time, save time during the exam. This is the most important thing because it's an open uh, book exam. So anyone, if the no limitation for the time, exactly you will uh, get the right answer. But because of the limitation, we have to save time for important questions. So with these two strategies, we will uh, learn how to implement this during uh, this course. So with these uh, two strategies, you will save much time by preparing your book for the exam. Hope you all success.